Okay, this is Simon from Empire, and I'm going to show you the self-diagnostic system in the Prophecy LTD system. Now, it's very simple. We're going to turn it on, push and hold the top button, and then push and turn, hold the power button to turn it on. All LEDs will come on. If an LED isn't shining, that means there's an LED problem. So it's a very simple start to do the diagnostics. Now I'm going to push the up button. And when I push the up button, the motor will start running, and it'll go through and it'll test all of the drive system sensors. So the first LED will test to see if there's any paint in the loader, and if the paint is going past the feed neck sensor. You have to have paint in the loader for that sensor to go green. If there is no paint in the loader, it will always go red, because it obviously isn't detecting balls going past the feed neck sensor. The second LED will detect the drive gear, and the third LED will detect the drive carrier or drive cone. And it'll do that automatically. So I'm going to start push the up button. I'll bring it down so you can see everything. Loader starts running. That LED is red, staying red, not detecting any balls. Times out. The second one, the gear, it's detecting the encoder stickers or the whiteout on the gear. And obviously you can see that it's gone green, so the encoder is in place and it's moving properly. And then the third one, it's detecting the carrier and the encoder stickers on the carrier. And again, it's gone green, so it's working properly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the down arrow, and it's going to listen for a sound activation signal on the fourth LED. Down. Goes in reverse. Listens for a sound activation. By flicking it, makes it means it gets a sound activation. That goes green. And then it's looking for an RF activation at the top, the red LED. And it doesn't get one, so you'll see that it's gone red and it failed on the RF, obviously because I didn't pick up a gun and send it an RF signal. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run that diagnostic system again, and this time with some balls inside, and you'll see the difference. Have a few re-balls, put them in the drive. Okay, try and keep the stable on camera. Push up and hold, push power button, all the LEDs come on. Push forwards. Okay, and that time it fed the balls, so all of the drive LEDs went green. I push down, goes in reverse, looks for a sound signal. I give it a sound signal. Now it's looking for an RF signal. If I want to default it and just go past any of the signals, I can push the power button. And in that case, the LED at the top went orange instead of red, which means I defaulted that test and just went past it. You can push the power button to default past any test that you like. Okay, so that gives me four green LEDs and one orange LED, which means the feed neck sensor is working, the feed gear is working, the feed carrier sensor is working, sound activation is working, and I didn't have an RF chip set up, so I couldn't give it an RF signal. Obviously, if you have your gun and you're using RF, you can pull the trigger, send an RF signal at that point, and it'll test and verify that the RF is working. So it's very easy to do all of the self-diagnostics on the loader. Make sure that everything is always working perfectly. And we just power off, and you're done. One more time, push power button, hold it on, push power, okay, all the LEDs. I push up, it's looking for balls in the feed net, there's not gonna be any, so it'll time out with red. Looks at the gear, looks at the carrier, Sees the uh, encoder, so that's all good. Push in reverse, make sure the motor runs in reverse. Then it's listening for sound, gets the sound signal. It's listening for RF, but I don't have RF, so after a while it will time out and just go red. And there we are. That's the diagnostics done. As we go through the diagnostics, you'll see along the top, when it's looking at the eyes, the sound, or the RF, the relevant LED is lit up. So we'll do it one more time. Power, sorry, up button. Push power, all the LEDs come on. Up, doing all of the eye sensors right now, so this is blue. It's not getting any balls. Gets the carrier, gets the drive gear. Now we go down. Okay, now it's listening for the sound signal. Gets the sound signal, it's listening for the RF. Doesn't get an RF, so it's just gonna default and go red. There you go, that's the self-diagnostic system for the prophecy, LTD. Power off, and you're done.